Hi, I'm Dr. Marion Ross. And I'm Dr. Tracy Latz. We're from Shift Your Life, and this is the beginning of our series on vibrational energy medicine. Vibrational medicine is how we heal discordant energies in our body. We have seven major energy centers which we will cover in this series. And we're going to talk about how we can heal through sound, musical notes, toning, and color, as well as scent. We're going to talk about essential oils, and we're going to talk about different flower essences and how we can use them to heal. This is the first of seven videos in this series. We hope you had a chance to enjoy our crystal bowl healing video that we did before this one. Today, we will be talking about the first chakra, the root chakra, which you can actually find on your own body, this energy center, by placing your fist over your pubic bone. If you open up your hand right there where your fist is, that would be this energy center, which has to do with feeling secure and safe. It resonates with the color red, which is why we're, we're wearing, wearing red. red. And it resonates with the musical tone, C. This is a tuning fork. It's something we use very often for healing. You can use tuning forks by striking the fork and then holding it over that area. Any area that is governed by the first chakra. The first chakra, if you have an imbalance, you will typically find that you will have issues of feeling insecure in your relationships, your finances, in being just in this physical world. It will also reflect in your body by having issues in your hips, your legs, your knees, your feet, everything below the pubic bone. This whole area from the pubic bone down to the toes and your relationship to the earth, to the ground, if you're ungrounded, it's usually based in the root chakra. The color of, associated with it is red. We use colored silk scarves for healing as well. Often we'll just drape a red scarf over the chakra area from the pubic bone down to the knees or the feet, depending on the area that's in pain. If you have a weakness in your legs, you may wear red. It helps you feel your power. If you want to go and uh, maybe look for a job interview, maybe wear red underwear. It sort of really connects you and makes you feel powerful and adequate in your life and, and in your body. And if you're feeling ungrounded, even if you're a guy, you can wear some red nail polish on your toes. <laughs> it really works. Or wear red shoes. There is a reason why most sports teams that really do well have red in their color. Think about it. The other thing I just want to warn you, if you have any inflammation in any joints or your knees, don't use a red scarf. I would then use a pink scarf or a blue scarf to cool down the inflammation. If you have any cancerous conditions, don't use red either. Red is a little too warm. Just because red tends to fuel anger and can actually activate pain for some people or irritation. So we talked about the musical note. You can also find that note and tone. The toning sound, the vowel sound for the first chakra is ah. Uh. So in this case, ah. Uh. Cells, atoms, and molecules 
when they need to be lifted to the proper vibration to reset their balance, responds powerfully to the sound of these vibrations, but it will respond most powerfully to your own inner vibrations of your thoughts, your emotions, or your own voice. So that's why it can be so powerful to tone, and in particular when you tone for your own self, you can see incredible things clear up and just suddenly rebalance. This is uh, something that's been uh, explained through the ages. You had the Tibetans toning thousands of years ago. Toning comes through, I guess, Arabic traditions, Judeo-Christian traditions, chanting, uh, Gregorian chants. So it's not something that's new. It's something that's been done for thousands of years. If you are drawn to aromatherapy, there are certain aromas and scents that can really help rebalance connecting you to the earth, which is what that first chakra is about, feeling very secure and being in your physical self. So earthy scents, such as sandalwood, can be helpful. Cypress, cedarwood, frankincense also can be helpful for resettling you and calming down any anxiety that you might have about being a bit insecure in whatever situation you're in. Other essential oils that help you from having a sense of isolation from the tribe. The, the feeling of community, the feel of, feeling of tribalism is also part of our root chakra. And frankincense, clary, sage, geranium, they are, they're all very helpful. They're also helpful for depression and anxiety. So there are a whole host of different kinds of scents. You can look it up on the internet or you can join us when we do a, an essential oil video. But very often, you, once you're familiar with these kinds of things, you start blending them to see what works best for you in any kind of situation. If you have a musical instrument, Rather than a tuning fork, just play that C. It will help rebalance. Let's talk about drums for a moment. When people are going off to war and they want to feel like a real tribe, they start drumming. Drumming is really good to get connected to the earth. You can feel that in your root and there are different ways of drumming. So get yourself a drum, use your voice, tuning forks, scents, buy a candle, a fragrant candle. There are so many different ways you can heal your root chakra. And of go course, out, go sorry. outside and stand in bare feet on the earth, in grass or into the dirt, and just allow yourself to feel your connection to earth. That also helps rebalance and reset that root chakra. And also make sure you're barefoot. You know, people give tree huggers a bad rap, but tree hugging is great because you're really connecting with the earth. So hug a tree or just put your hands on a tree. Or go sit in a cross-legged position sitting on the earth, allowing your, the base of your sh root chakra to land on the earth. It's very powerful. Well, thank you for joining us. It's been our pleasure. We hope you join us for the second through seventh chakras or energy centers in the body. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us at info at 12keystoshift.com and check out our website because soon we'll have a member site at www.12keystoshift.com. Thank you. Until then, take care.